Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Not so long ago, I shared how to take a plain vase and with a little bit of paint, take it to a Wedgwood vase as I've got here as my wee examples. And the reason I did this is because I get the perfect size vase for the arrangements that I want to create into them. Now I was looking at those and then I thought, you know what, for Christmas this year, I'm going to do, use those and I want to create Christmas arrangements and I thought that Wedgwood baubles would be quite nice. So I thought the first thing I'd do today is share how quick and easy these are to make. Now these here, when I did them the first time, I, they're latex that I've latex molds that I've just stuck on the outside, a little bit fiddly, and then I thought, you know, they're gonna be t I couldn't get little ones, so I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. My trusty ear dry clay and little cake molds. These are the latex ones. Fantastic. They come in all sorts of sizes and for my baubles I need wee ones, not big ones, otherwise I'd lose the baubles. So getting your ear dry clay, this is the paper clay too by the way, and it's light. It's fantastic. So the first one I'm going to do is I want to do the little roses. Where are my little roses? So I've got these little wee baby roses on the outside here. Look at those little cute little bouquets. So all you do is get your ear dry clay and oh, I nearly did something wrong. I nearly did something very, very wrong. One moment till I get it. This is vital. This is called arrowroot or cornstarch. It is vital to the first step. Get a paintbrush and into each of these little moulds put some cornstarch. You don't need too much but put that cornstarch in there. The reason you're going to do this is because it makes getting them out so easy. So just getting your, your clay, rolling that into the size that you think, and then just pushing that into all of the little crevices and little areas of your mould, like so. Push that right into there. And then, because the mould is going to go onto something that's round, get your finger and push it down so that you've got a concaved area inside your mould. The next thing you need to do now is be very patient and walk away and leave them alone to completely dry. It takes about 24 hours. Once you know that they are ready to come out when it all shrinks away from around the sides and it is just a matter of just getting your hand in there and gently lifting that up. Oh, it's so cute. I just love it. Now, if you don't put, hopefully this works, if you don't put the cornstarch on, you are going to have a terrible, terrible job of getting that out because it sticks. See how it's sticking in there? And if you take that off there, you're going to lose all of the lovely, lovely embossing that you have transferred from the inside to the top side of your little rose. Just a tip from me trial and error. Right, the next thing to do is to paint your baubles. These were so cheap but so good. Take that little hanger swing a bit off and I found the easiest way was to get a chopstick and push that into there and then you need to paint it with your chalk paint. I'm not going to show you how to do that because we all know how to paint. The colour that I selected for that nice Wedgwood colour, it's called Forget Me Not Blue. It's perfect for the project. Okay, so let them dry and then the next thing to do is, once they're all ready to go, is to re-put these on. And I suggest that you do this at this stage and make sure that that little hang is out. Yes, it's out. And then don't use the hot glue onto them because, as I discovered, the hot glue is too hot and will crack 
crack your baubles and I just figure that if you've gone to all of that trouble of painting them and making your little decorations and they break when you put the last embellishment on you're just gonna you're just not gonna like yourself so anyway just getting them a little bit of mod podge I should have a cleaner brush but never mind that'll do and then just getting your little wee beautiful embellishments and this is where you have to have a little bit of applied patience and tolerance because you just have to hold that there for just a little wee while until that actually sticks onto there. I want to say that it is better with this but as I've already said just applying a little bit of patience at this stage is the best way forward. The other thing that I did was I got a little bit of bubble paper and I put the bubble paper on that like that, pushed it in really firmly and then put it back into his box and it dried overnight and it was the best way forward. So I hope that for those of you who would like some little Wedgwood baubles for your Christmas tree this year, that I have been of assistance and I will share what I'm doing with them very soon. Merry Christmas everyone, see you again another day.